There is blood in the streets and everyone is panicking. But there is no room for panicking guys. No worries. The crypto market has a little crash. Actually a significant crash. But you shouldn't panic. Alright? So if you want to know if I'm buying, if I'm selling, what should you do? Should you just chill out to stay at the sidelines? Do you need to take out your money before it goes down any further? I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm going to tell you what I am doing. But when in doubt, zoom out guys. Because if we click at the all time chart for Bitcoin, we still see Bitcoin at the local tops. Right now it's at a $55,000 and I'm putting out buy alerts for my community. Well, if we head over to my Discord, where I'm sharing the latest news and announcements, my prediction is that in September, then we will start the big queen candles. It's just past 107 days from the halving and it usually takes 150 till 160 days. Hold the DCA and you'll be good. And obviously buy the dips when it's red. Now right now we are seeing double digits red. And that's when I am starting to accumulate. So yes, I'm throwing out buy alerts, but no, I'm not sure if we found the bottom yet. We could even see the 42k and that's why we DCA. So a lot of analysts warned that Bitcoin recent sell-off could lead to further declines and potentially revisiting the 42k mark. The 42k and the 50k mark are critical psychological support levels and it's very, very important for the Bitcoin's short-term momentum. Now Bitcoin needs to reclaim the 51k mark. Well, it did as it is around 55k right now and the significant support is noted at the 50k with potential liquidations of over 400 million in leverage short positions if Bitcoin falls below this level. And despite the current bearish outlook, Bitcoin's price action at these critical levels will determine its short term trajectory. Now all these market circumstances, we don't have a say, the only thing we can do is take control of our own emotions. And that's why I'm slowly accumulating. I will not be one of those investors which will get shaken out. So let me share some altcoins with you, which I think are in a decent buying opportunity right now. But like I said, we could even see the 42K mark. So don't go all in right now. But like I said, double digits red start to accumulate. So of course the first one, and it even touched the 13 cents, that'll be Caspa. The chart still looks very, very good. Right now, Caspa is on a 3.8 billion in market cap. And I'm very happy to accumulate around these levels again, even if it's going to dip any more further. And if you want to know where to buy Caspa, go to CoinMarketCap, click on the markets. You see all these markets where it's available. Now, the bullish thing is the volume and the market cap are insane. It's a proof of work, fair launched coin, the new digital silver, and there are many catalysts to come, like the smart contracts, like the big tier ones, and that'll make this project pump. Caspa is the majority of my portfolio, and you will never ever have too much Caspa. So Caspa is the number one crypto I would accumulate right now. Now the next one is Breton Base. It touched the 1 billion plus in market cap. It's officially a blue chip meme coin right now. It's the mascot of the base chain. The base chain is Coinbase's ecosystem and they will push this meme coin to new heights when altcoin season starts. Right now it's below the 1 billion in market cap and I think when it's around the 1 billion or below the 1 billion, it's a steal. In my opinion, it's a relatively safe meme coin because of the market cap, because of the community engagement. This one has one of the strongest communities out there. There are lots of meme coins based on Brett. It's the boys club narrative. It's on the base chain. It's in a huge discount and it's not even listed on the big tier ones. Brett on base at around 8 cents. It's a steal right now. And if we click on the daily chart right now, you see it even touched the 6 cents and it's back up above the 8 cents. So people are very happy to buy the dips with this project. Don't miss out guys. Now the next one, that'll be Maniki. My conviction is still the same. The only thing is, it's freaking cheap right now. 
I bought at around 1 cents, I bought at around 009008. Right now it's 50% discount. Well, I can cry and I can say, well, I should have bought right now. I shouldn't have bought at these higher levels, but nobody has a crystal ball and that's why we DCA. And I'm happy to buy more at these levels. And that's the mindset you should have. The volume to market cap ratio is huge, 61%. It's on Solana. I'm very bullish on the Solana ecosystem. And if you click on the markets, it's listed on all the big markets, except for the big tier ones like Binance or Coinbase. But it's on a crypto.com exchange. And that's why I'm also very bullish on it. If you click on the perpetuals, it's listed on Bybit as well. So a spot listing is probably in the books for the near future. If you want a deep dive, I made like 5 videos on Maneki, but the key factors why I am so bullish on it is, they secured their own trademark in over 128 countries. If a team isn't ambitious, don't have a long term vision about a project, then they wouldn't do that. There is a lot of things coming with Maneki, it's very low in market cap and it's still before altcoin season. I believe, even if it's only hitting a 4 billion in market cap, That'll be around 100x with the team doing a lot of marketing with Maniki featuring at the Nasdaq on a big ass billboard on the Times Square and Maniki being the first having an interview at the New York Stock Exchange. It's just bullish. I don't care about the price right now. 50% in discount. I'ma grab it. No financial advice. Think for yourself. But let's go to the next one. And that'll be Mavia. Mavia is one of the best gaming projects and it's relatively new. It's not even six months old and it already has a huge community. Before it got listed, it already had 1 million in downloads. Right now they have over 4 million downloads. They are backed by Binance Labs. They aren't listed on the big tier ones, but on all the big tier twos and crypto.com. So another huge green flag. They are on Ethereum and on base. So I believe a Binance and a Coinbase listing is very possible for this project. Right now it's in a huge discount, 40 million in market cap with a volume to market cap ratio of 43%, which is very bullish for Mavia. Right now $1.24, I believe it's a steal. It's a working game with a lot of downloads. A doxed team is developed by Scry Studios, huge partners and backings and lots of catalysts to come. And compared to the greedy vesting schedules of other gaming projects, Mavia has one of the best vesting schedules, which is even less than two times dilution. So I'm very bullish on Mavia. I believe it's one of the best gaming projects out there. And if you're lone wolfing in these uncertain times, and if you want to sort out your portfolio before altcoin season starts, and if you want to be part of a stoic community with stoic investors, who aren't complaining about the price action, but actually accumulate when you should accumulate, get in the Patreon, limited spots available. We will love to see you come if you're not emotional because we will be winners. So guys, smash the likes, let me know what you think and I see you guys in the next one.